Now, Ghana currently imports over $80 million worth of milk products annually. Local cheese producers in the Volta region say significant amount of the commodity goes bad due to poor state of roads and a lack of appropriate storage and processing facilities. Fazia to Adam visited the Volta region recently and focused on the local dairy industry. <laughs> I joined Memunatu Yakubu in her secluded home located at the Keseve Castle Ranch in the Northton constituency of the Volta region where she plies her trade. Memunatu has been in the wagashi business for over 15 years. The popular delicacy mostly associated with Nordness is a type of cheese derived from cow milk, generally produced by Fulani women. This soft cheese does not melt under high temperature as compared to other imported ones. Here in Keseve, the main occupation for women is processing milk sold to them by headsmen at the ranch. First, she boiled the fresh milk. So this is um, making of the wagashi. And what I'm pounding here is called tumpapia. And tumpapia is a plant that is used to solidify the boiling milk to get that soft cheese called wagashi. Now, the tumpapia is mixed with salt to get that solid look. And very soon you're going to see how that turns and how we get to see that soft wagashi. The pulp is then mixed with the milk and later strained out. The resulting okay. mixture is then drained okay. in a colander and the dense cheese forms as the water drips off. The process does not come cheap. Whoosh. Just like cattle farmers at the ranch, Memunatu struggles to sell her wagashi due to poor roads. Because the roads are in a bad state, cars hardly come around. So I have to walk long distances to get Okada and beg them to buy the wagashi and sell them in the township. During the week, I produce seven to eight pieces of wagashi daily, and on weekends, 40 to 80 pieces. During the rainy season, I produce more wagashi, but they go bad because I find it difficult to even sell them. Back in the capital city, Accra, Fatima Osman sells wagashi at the Nima market. In the bid to make more sales, Fatima has adopted a marketing strategy. I take like 150 pieces of wagashi sometimes. I sell three for 10 cities or one for four cities. Because wagashi easily goes bad, I bought the remaining stock for the day and add salt to it with some red plant to preserve it. Those are the red ones. Then I sell it cheaper so that I won't lose at all. Just like Mimuna too, Fatima equally has challenges. I get some of my wagashi from Kaseva in Japan. The problem, since the guys transport the wagashi on motorbikes, some fall in the mud, even some perish in the vehicle by the time it gets to us. Statistics from the UN Trade indicate Ghana spends more than $80 million importing milk and milk products annually since 2011. Ironically, tons of milk produced locally are left to go bad. The one district one factory could make a little impact if sectors like these are left in isolation. Fawzi to Adam, Joy Business.